I just wanted to share like a little haul. I haven't done a haul video in a while. I don't really like to do those very often. Because I don't buy too many things at once. So this is like all accumulated over time. Some might even be from August, I think. Yeah. So the first thing, my most recent buy is Revlon Beyond Natural Skin Matching Makeup. This is supposed to be a foundation. I guess it's kind of like a tinted foundation. I have two because this one's in medium, this one's in light medium. And I got confused as to which one would suit me more. And honestly, they look exactly the same on my skin because they blend into it so well. Like, it's the exact color of my skin. Like, nobody's business. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know whether I should keep it or not because I got it for like, it was over $12 at Rite Aid. I didn't get it on sale. But it's not the money. It's really just the product itself like even though it matches me so well I feel kind of indifferent about it I don't know these two I absolutely love they're blushes from Milani Milani Minerals I don't know if they're actually mineral blushes though they might be if they are that's awesome and I wouldn't be surprised because they're so pigmented this one's called Luminous in number 201 and this one is 202 Sunset Beach. This is like almost an exact dupe for Gingerly from MAC, but it shows up a lot better. I have Gingerly, and if I didn't throw away the receipt, I would return Gingerly and get this one because it shows up better. I don't know, but it's like the same shade. It's the same size, too, and the quality is excellent. It's not like powdery and like there's flyaway it's not thick this is a matte one so there's no shimmer to it it's so good I love these I love them and they're only like six to eight dollars somewhere between that I got mine from Kerr Drug they're a little hard to find because a lot of places took out some Milani things like it's just hard to find some stuff from them the only place I can find it is Kerr Drug or Kmart and they don't have it anywhere else for me and Luminous this one's um, it's supposed to be a dupe for MAC Spring Sheen, and MAC Spring Sheen, I think it's Spring Sheen, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it sounds like that, and that one's supposed to be a dupe for NARS Orgasm. NARS Orgasm is $24, there was no color payoff for my skin tone at all, but this one, there's a, it's still very sheer and very light, I'm wearing it right now. I wore it earlier, so it's kind of gone, but um, it shows up more on medium to darker skin tones, and because it's so sheer, it'll definitely show up on um, very fair skin folks. These are really, really good. I'm thinking about get, getting more. I'm going to wait for a sale. Drugstore makeup always goes on sale. Don't buy it for regular price if you can. The next two things are from L'Oreal. This is, they're two lip glosses, and they look like the same. I mean, I know the color is not the same, but the quality, the pigmentation is kind of the same. This is color juice, and this one's in Tutti Fruity. It is such a nice, bright, hot pink. I use this for my Tinkerbell look, and this one is enticing from their hip pigments line. I have a feeling this might be a little bit thicker and more pigmented, and because of that, because it's thicker, and more pigmented obviously it kind of lasts longer but this is very long lasting too and it has great color payoff for a lip gloss these are really good and normally I think these are about like almost 10 bucks each but when they're on sale there's buy one get one free so you can get two for like five dollars so that's good um I also use this for my Tinkerbell tutorial it's lilac frosting it's just loose well they call it Mega Sparkle Confetti. It's just loose glitter from Wet n Wild. And it's so cheap. And it's cute. Like, the color's pretty. It's not cute itself. It can't be cute. But I'm thinking about getting more because they're really cheap. They're like $1.99. I think I got it on sale for that much. Or regular price, it's like $2.99. So, it's good stuff. Ooh, there's a train coming. 
this train keeps me up all night. It'll come at like 4 a.m. and then it'll come at 7 a.m. I never, ever, ever get any sleep. Never. I guess I'll just wait for it to pass. When I get a place, I'm going to make sure there's no damn train lines around me. They're so noisy. Okay, it's gone. So the next two things I got were also on sale at Rite Aid. Um, Revlon's lip products were all for $5.99, which is great. Because some of their stuff is like $10. And Revlon was a drugstore company that I always thought just sucked. Honestly, like I was just like, oh, they don't have anything good. But within the last like four years or so, the stuff they've been coming out with are really good quality. Revlon is definitely like, L'Oreal was my favorite. And then it was like CoverGirl and then Maybelline. And then all the really cheap stuff like Prestige and stuff. But Revlon, I always hate it. I'm just like, ooh, it's such a mommy brand because my mom used to get stuff from them and I didn't like it because it was really boring like the colors weren't good or anything but recently like their stuff is really good so I got two of their lip, lip stuff enough babbling about Revlon but their stuff's really good <laughs> I got another matte lipstick this one's in pink pal I have two of their red ones and it's really good <laughs> and it's like a very blue, grayish tone based pink. It's like a dull pink. It's not anything like a bubbly, happy kind of pink or baby pink. It's almost like a mauve type tone because there's so much of like a grayish cast to it. But it looks good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm probably going to end up collecting all their matte lipsticks one day, but not right now because. I'm someone who doesn't use too many lip stuff, but I have a lot of it. A lot. <laughs> and the next one I got, Color Stay Ultimate Lip Color. This alone is like 10 bucks, I think, by itself. This one's called Top Tomato. They had a lot of other lovely, lovely colors, but I didn't want it because I have similar tones. I just wanted to get something that I don't have, and I don't have a red lip gloss. That sounds really gross, but it's very pigmented. I'm going to have swatches of these. Well, here's one. <laughs> but I'll have swatches of these on my blog. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. I did my nails. I don't like to do videos where I don't have good looking nails. But I did these in a hurry, so I did them in like 20 minutes. I barely filed the sides down because I didn't really have to. And I left them this long. I know for some of you this is like regular length, but oh my god, this is so long for me. I'm like, it was so hard to put contacts on. I'm scratching myself everywhere. I already have like 20 scars somewhere on my body. And I'm really scared to touch things because I keep like... Hitting it, like when you're not used to having longer nails and you boink it somewhere, it really hurts. <laughs> this one is Mystic from Revlon. And of course I used, you know, some of them that were there. And because I did it in a hurry, there's like all these air bubbles everywhere. And if you look closely, you can see where my real nail stops. But let's not show you that. But I thought the design, I never get like anything with tips I always thought it was like kind of ghetto but it looked really good but I didn't think it would suit me I don't know why but in class this girl she works in the gentleman's club she had these really cute tips um they were like black and turquoise and hot pink or something it looked so good I was like ooh, I want that um so yeah I got these because I didn't want to get my nails done for like 30 40 dollars this was, I think, like, seven. But this is, Revlon nails are a lot more compared to the regular ones. The regular ones are around, like, five-something. And these are usually one to two dollars more. But they're really good quality. They're sturdy. And the glue is very, very strong. 
So that's good. They're not going to pop off in like two days. We'll see. I'm a nail biter, so I don't know how long it'll stay. So, yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm about to also, my next video is going to be about the hair. Like, I finally got the stuff for it because I kept leaving it at places. But I saved the box. It's been over a month, but I finally found the box. <laughs> so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.